Blastable is used to get the V-line thickness of your designs to be an appropriate thickness for sandblasting. By default, the target thickness is 0 0.09 inches, but you can change that default to anything that you want by holding down control on the keyboard and then clicking on the button. That brings up the dialog, or you can type in 0 0.08, uh, 0 0.1, whatever you wanted it to be. You can change that, but I prefer 0 .09, so I'll change it back to that, and then I'll just hit save. In this example, the imported design here of the bird was too large, and so we shrunk it down. Uh, when you import, typically they'll come in as a grouped object, so the first thing to do is to select it and come up here and hit ungroup all objects. When you do that, it will change the property bar to allow you to combine those, uh, two pieces then together and they should show up as only one color. In the next step we will zoom in to a section so that we can create a reference line. Grabbing a f the freehand tool or any of the line tools will come over here and click on the top. I'm holding down control while bringing it down so that it makes a straight line and then clicking again you can see here it shows that it's 0 0.077 inches. I was able to easily create my line because I have snapping to objects on. If I didn't have that on it wouldn't snap to my two lines here. The next step is to take your reference line that we just created and with the pick tool we will shift select the object that we want to change and I will hit shift F2 to zoom out to the selected object so you can see what happens here. And if we hit the blastable button, it will go ahead and change the line thickness for us. It's set to automatically delete our reference line, but if I come back in here and redraw the line, we'll click in here again, we'll see that it's now 0 0.09 inches. I'll go ahead and delete that again and zoom back out. After it's contoured to the correct size, it takes all of the inside pieces, combines those all together, and fills them in 10% gray, and then fills your outside line in black. Now Blastable uses CorelDRAW's contour tool, which is over here, uh, to achieve the desired result. Uh, but occasionally if an object has a stray object or some odd lines, the contour tool will not work correctly, which can usually be noticed by deleted or incorrect lines after the tool has been applied. So if you notice anything uh, weird going on, if you're missing pieces, if it's not doing a good job, um, that usually means that the contour tool is having uh, a problem with actually applying the contour, which sometimes means that you just need to move some nodes or change things around in order to get it to apply correctly. Uh, usually it just means that you need to clean up your design a little bit. The last thing that I'll show here is that it works in both directions. So I'm just going to grab this and make a duplicate of it and this time I'll make it a bit larger. Zooming back in I will redo my reference line here um, and I forgot that I have to combine these two objects together first so I'll combine those. I'll grab my reference and I'll shift select the piece and this time I'll use the keyboard shortcut of Alt B. What it did this time is instead of making the outline larger it made it smaller. Um, so I'll just bring these in a little bit closer together so that you can see the difference here. So even though this design is 10 inches wide and this one is 6 inches wide they both have 0 0.09 inch um, blastable thicknesses. Unfortunately, blastable isn't magic, and it uh, really depends on the complexity of the original, as well as how well it was designed, whether or not it'll work nicely or not. Um, but it certainly is easier than doing it by hand, and uh, makes it so that you can keep your your sandblast line thickness is consistent throughout your design rather uh, rather easily.